Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mohi Beth, and for those of y'all who are new here, I own a six-figure reselling business selling women's clothing on places like Poshmark and eBay, and today we are back at the bins. I am so excited because I really need inventory. I'm trying to stock up inventory before the baby comes, so I'm buying as much as I possibly can. Hopefully we can find some really good stuff to sell online, and I can also find stuff for consignment and a few other things. So going in, Hopefully we can find 25 pounds. If I find 25 pounds, I pay $1.29 per pound. If y'all are unfamiliar with the bins, I'm basically gonna go in and <laughs> go through these massive blue bins of clothes. These are either clothes that didn't sell at Goodwill or they're raw donations because Goodwill just receives so much stuff and pay by the pound and it's really fun. If you haven't been, you should try it out. All right, let's go inside and see what we can find. Fingers crossed. So I started at this bin and this actual whole bin rotation came across a lot of brands that I didn't know and had to look up. ProQuip, which you just saw there, was one of them and actually comps didn't look bad. They were pretty decent. Um, they were kind of all over the place, but after checking condition, I decided to put it back. This is uh, Smart Wool, which is a great bolo brand, but speaking of condition, this had a lot, a lot of holes in it, and Smart Wool actually can sell even with a ton of holes in it because it's just a base layer, but it won't sell for that much. It'll sell for like 10, 15 bucks, so I decided it probably isn't worth my employee's time, and so I did actually decide to put that one back. If it, there's only a small flaw, sometimes I'll actually get it repaired if I can do it for cheap enough. Um, so going through this bin, I actually found this in and out uh, graphic t-shirt, which I decided to pick up because I have taken that to Buffalo Exchange before and they accepted it. But different uh, brands such as in and out and Dutch Bros, I'll sometimes pick up their merch because there is actually demand for it um, in different places. So whether it's you know, on Poshmark or eBay or in consignment. So happy to find those Madewell jeans. You all know I love finding Madewell jeans and those are actually a really good style to find and they were in excellent condition. So I'll show you them in the haul. Finding a bunch of baby stuff. Okay, if y'all find a magnetic me or magnetic onesie, it actually might be worth picking up, especially if you find a few and you can lock them up because they are quite expensive and they're in high demand from, you know, mothers to be and mothers who are uh, already being so um but that one was just it didn't show up in the camera but it was a little too pilled for me to get it for myself this um talbot's pants were uh, i think too old and i think the condition was bad so i didn't pick them up but i do like picking up talbot's for mogi box that brand i'll talk about more in the haul i did actually end up picking that up but that's a really good example of a brand that i had no idea about looked it up and now i get to experiment with it uh, for a pretty low risk low cost and i like doing that especially with men's brands right now Sundance I've been picking up you know since the beginning of my reselling days I know it well it's a catalog brand it retails for a lot of money um, but I actually haven't been picking it up that much recently so I think I am going to go ahead and sell it and see how it does um, now I wanted to ask you a question which view do you like better do you like when the camera is looking at the clothes or do you like when it's you know pulled away and I'm showing you kind of what I'm finding um, because it'll just affect how I shoot these going forward. But those American Eagle jeans, I think they were a little bit older. I'm not sure if I ended up picking them up, but I do like picking up American Eagle. Cartoni A is an in-house anthropology brand I pass on most of the time, especially pants. Okay, so I spent how long in there? Like three hours and I got 30 Point eight pounds, so I spent thirty nine seventy three. Here, let me show you the damage. Oh, I forgot I got this. I got all of this stuff. So I will meet you at the hall and show you everything that I found. Some really good stuff in here, and some really good bread and butter stuff. All right, see you then. Okay, it is time for the haul. I'm in a new background. What do y'all think? Corner I usually film in 
is uh, too sunny, so we're here today. As y'all know, because I just talked about it, I spent $39.73, and we're gonna start out with a couple, of few miscellaneous items, the first being some gift boxes. I love picking these up, these are Christmas tags. And then two, they're so expensive at the store, so when I see them brand new at the bins, I tend to pick them up. The second, I, I wanna look this up because it looks really nice but I just picked it up because I can use it for different things. But this is a burlap sack, but it has these leather handles. It has this tag on it. Appleus Global Citizen Market Bag Bangladesh Project. I don't really know. I'll have to look it up, but I think it would be good. At the very least, it'd be good actually for firewood or something, but I mean, I'm sure I can actually come up with an even better solution, especially with storage in the baby's room and stuff. And speaking of baby, <laughs> I had a uh, appointment with my midwife recently and I was asking her about post baby. This might be TMI for some men, but you know, you need to know what we go through. So after you give birth, you bleed a lot. And so typically they'll give you mesh um, underwear in the hospital. And my midwife was like, we just give diapers because they think they work the best. So that's what I recommend. So when I saw these adult diapers, I was like, hey, I don't know what size these are. I didn't see them anywhere. So we'll have to try them on and see. But uh, yeah, save a little bit of money on those since I'm only gonna be wearing them for a short amount of time. Hopefully. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below your experience with that. It'd be good to just get some brand new ones at the bins. Okay, so let's start with clothes. First is this really, a really cozy American Eagle size small chenille cable knit hot pink sweater. Goodwill wanted $7.99 for it. It is from 2018. That'd be perfect for a Moby box. Really, really cute. Next, I was really excited to find these. There was a big, or at least two, one or two bins full of men's clothing. I think it was men's clothing from, yeah, Goodwill. And I was doing a lot of Googling, a lot of looking at brands I wasn't familiar with, but this I was familiar with. This is Paul Smith. And I actually did check comps on these. They're really cute. They are these navy blue dress pants with little red polka dots on them. Super, super cute. Goodwill wanted $12.99 for them. They are a size 44 regular. So I'm excited to sell those. I've been really enjoying selling men's recently. Another Mogi Box piece. If y'all are unfamiliar with Mogi Box, I, I'm not doing a ton of releases right now because I have a bajillion things going on, but hopefully I'll do one soon where I sell boxes of inventory. It's my Poshmark closet, Mogi Box, and I think I sell them for $3 a piece, three or $4 a piece. And if you want to sign up to receive emails about when I do drop those boxes, you have to fill out a Google form and that will automatically add you to my email list and I'll have that in the description down below. So this is another piece that I'm gonna put in there. This is Airy, which is American Eagles, you know, loungewear line, offline by Airy, size medium. This is really cute. This is oversized ribbed quarter zip pullover. And I think this is like really recent. This is from, yeah, August, 2021. So not even a year old. Excited about that. Another piece from Mogi Box. Buyers of Mogi Box tend to really like selling J. Crew on the forms. That was one of the most popular brands requested. This is extra, extra small. It is a sweater, but it does have linen in it, which I think is great. So it has 100% linen, which I think is great going into the summer. This I kind of bought for myself, but I kind of need more pieces like this for hiking, etc. This is just a Columbia zipper jacket, fleece. Excellent condition with zipper pockets. Actually, this is great to wear to the bins too because I like having zipper pockets when I go to the bins. Okay, I sold this brand once before I got it through liquidation. So when I saw it at the bins, I was like, oh, I know this is a good brand. It was just in a random bin. It's a pair of sunglasses. The brand, can you see it there? It's Illestiva, spelled I-L-L-E-S-T-E-V-A. I need to write this down, make sure that we add it to our weekly bolo brands because it's a really good one to know. And in fact, it would be nice if I added more sunglass brands, which these are. But this brand retails for a lot of money. The previous pair that I've sold before, it retailed for $220 and I sold it for 80. These have some definite scratches on them. So I don't even be able to get that much, but they're so cute. 
Aren't those so cute? They're made in Italy. And I kind of just, should I just keep them? <laughs> Let me know. Do they look good on me? Uh, probably not. So, I don't know. I probably won't get that much from them because they're so scratched, but maybe 30, 35, which would be nice. Okay, this was my first find of the day. I didn't check it over really, really well, and I am noticing it is broken, but I still think it will be worth selling because it is Patagonia. I think this is so cute. It's this color block windbreaker, half zip style. It's definitely a more vintage, older Patagonia piece, but the little drawstring here is a little bit broken. It could be fixed, but I probably won't fix it. I'll probably list it as is. I'll sell it for a discount. It's so light and super cute. Need to wash it. There's a little bit of dirt on it, but yeah. I love finding Patagonia at the bins. This is Hannah Anderson, which I am picking up. I'll probably keep it, but I do want to eventually slot it up and sell it. This is a really good kids wear brand to know. Fair Isle sweater dress with a crosshatch style flower. It's cute. More baby stuff. This is so cute. A lot of y'all uh, have told me you want to get zipper onesies that can zip from the top and bottom and that's what this is. This is newborn size. It's got these little cute animals on it. So precious. Oh, so precious. Okay, this is another Mogi Box piece. This is Loft and it is a size 18, which is great. It's a lace dress, navy blue. I mean, this I did not look up, but I'm either going to take it to Crossroads or I'm gonna sell it because I think it's so cute. And Urban Outfitters pieces have been just doing really, selling really well for me. Like they just sell really, really quickly, at least. Especially, you know, the more on-trend recent styles. So this is a little corset top. It has all these hook-eye closures in the front. I'm not gonna go to the trouble of doing them all. And then a corset back and it's this really pretty, like Swiss dot floral fabric. And the brand is Out From Under, which is Urban Outfitters, kind of lingerie, loungewear line, size small. So corsets are really in. This is really cute. I wanna look it up, but if worse comes to worse, I'll take it to Crossroads. I think I'm also gonna take this to Crossroads. Actually, Crossroads didn't take this. This is an in and out t-shirt. Uh, last time I took them an in and out t-shirt, but Buffalo Exchange loved it. They were like, oh, this is great. So, okay, I'll take it to Buffalo Exchange. It's a size extra, extra large. And it's the Las, it's in and out Las Vegas. I thought that was a really cute graphic. And I kinda wanna keep it. <laughs> Looks like a nice pregnancy shirt. It's very large. So maybe I'll just keep it through the next few months of my pregnancy and then take it there. I also sell jeans to my friends who pay me $4 a pair for jeans and certain brands, if you're interested and you live in the Pacific Northwest, DM me and I'll give you their information. But this is a pair of men's Lucky Brand jeans. Goodwill is out of their mind. They wanted $29.99 for these. They're in really good condition. Come on, men's Lucky Brand jeans for 30 bucks used. Jeez, I mean, it's not like they're brand new. 367 vintage boot, so. I'll put that in my box for them. Okay, I think y'all saw me find these. Maybe my favorite find. <laughs> I just love Madewell. Madewell jeans. These are really cute. They've got the button fly. Someone must have thrown these back. I don't know why. This is a really good style too. It's the perfect vintage jean in a size 31. It is from fall 2018 in excellent condition. Look at that patch. Whew, got lucky with these. Okay, another one for my friends. These are Levi's 501s. They're actually in really, really good condition. So I could probably actually take these to Crossroads as well. I might do that instead. They, I find take 501s, but not many of the other ones. Just going through all my jeans first. What are these guys? Oh, these are J. Crew. also for my friends. They're men's. I think they're a newer style, in really good condition. I might look them up and sell them myself. What are they from? Hmm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'll probably end up giving it them to my friends. J. Crew denim, I don't know. Okay, this might be my other favorite piece from the haul. I don't think I've ever found this brand at the bins yet. Top, you know, now. Universal Standard. 
This is a really great brand. I've talked about it so much on this channel. And I always link to this one podcast where it was an interview with the founder, which was really illuminating to me and really interesting because they do sizing completely different. So this is an extra large, but they put medium as like a true medium. So like what a medium person would be size wise. So like small, I, I, I don't even know. Maybe I'll pop up the size chart right here, but they just do completely different. So this is probably very plus size, even though it is extra large, it's probably like three X or something. And Goodwill wanted $6.99 for that, which I would have paid, but I didn't come across it in the thrift store. Luckily I paid less and came across it in bins. Oh, this is so cute. Another baby piece. This is Burt's Bees. I'm trying to be really selective with baby pieces I pick up. I need to go through everything I have and make sure that I'm, you know, not overloading on something. But I really like Burt's Bees. I really like organic cotton pieces. And I try to only buy 100% cotton pieces. This is really cute. They've got the little footsies with the little bees on the bottom. And it's a zipper and it's for 18 months. Okay, this is a brand that I might actually include this brand on my I don't pick up anymore list. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I don't pick it up anymore, but I would never pay a lot of money for this brand. And it's Maison Scotch, which is also scotch and soda. Certain pieces can actually do quite well, but a lot of times it can sit for a while. Um, but I thought this was really cute. It's a marled knit cardigan, open front, and it has the tie, which is great. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It does have, you know, this hanging should be attached, but otherwise in excellent condition. A little bit of pilling. Okay, these are actually the pair of J. Crew men's jeans that I was considering selling, but they are J. Crew factory, but they are from winter 2020 and they're in excellent, excellent condition. Goodwill wanted $14.99 for these. I might just give them to my friends. Okay, I looked up this brand because from just the tag alone, I didn't know what the deal was, but they're called Mountain Khakis and comps are all over the place. So since I got out the bins, I decided, hey, let's go ahead and pick these up. I actually found another pair from this brand that were a chino style. I decided to pass on, but this one, a cargo with a zip off. I think this kind of style does well in general, you know, within different brands. So I'm excited to see how this does, especially on places like eBay. And I've been pretty happily surprised with the risks I'm taking when it comes to menswear recently. And when it's at the bins, it's not much of a risk. So that's, you know, where I really like to experiment with brands. Okay, I need to look up this piece. I'm either gonna sell it or it's going to go into a Mogi box. I like selling Sundance and it is a size large, which is great. It's an excellent condition. This really, really pretty blouse. It's like it got 100% cotton uh, lining and then this really fun crochet almost, or I don't know, is that lace overlay? Really, really pretty. And Goodwill wanted $6.99 for it, but went home with me instead from the bins. Okay, this is so cute. This is, um, I would have picked up even if I was planning on selling it uh, because it's in excellent condition. It's baby Bowden, but I am planning on keeping it. It's a size two or three. Oh my gosh, this is just darling. It's got this contrast fabric lining that's all throughout, but it's a pink polka dot corduroy. It's so cute. You just roll up the bottom here. Isn't that precious? Baby Bowden is a good, kids bolo brand to know not all pieces but i think something like this would probably do pretty well and of course kids is going to have a lower average sales price lower cost of goods on average as well okay i wasn't sure if i should pick these up or not but decided to go ahead and do it because i want to experiment with them again again the men's is for experimentation this is nike golf it's a really really nice pair of flat front pants black Goodwill wanted $14.99 for them. They're in really excellent condition. So maybe it's because Matt and I were golfing a lot last year um, and I'm really into golf. Um, and uh, when I was searching for clothes to buy for golf, I couldn't find any cheap ones on Poshmark. So I don't know, we'll see how these do, if they sell quickly and for how much, but I'll probably accept a little bit lower of a price and just see how fast they go. And if they go fast, then I'm gonna continue to pick up stuff like that. 
Oh my gosh, we're almost done. This is the fastest haul ever. These are PacSun, and I'm gonna give these to my friends, but I thought they were really darling, and that washed black. They accept not only jeans, but any bottoms. And then, the last items I got, there were literally hundreds of these. I don't know what the deal was, but I decided to keep a few. These little knitted, what are these called? Sock shoes for babies. <laughs> I got those pink ones. I got these little green ones, teal ones with pink roses. And then these like gray blue ones, the orange flower. So adorable. I don't know if I'll actually use these, but <laughs> there were hundreds, like literally hundreds of them. I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I was really tempted to just like get them all, lot them up and see if I could sell them, but I don't know. It's really outside my wheelhouse. So I just decided to get a few for myself, but that is the haul. Okay, so I am going to go count everything that I got and then divide my total by how many items I got and report my average cost of goods. So. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got in total 31 pieces for $39.73. So I paid $1.28 per piece, which is a little bit higher than you know my typical bins. I tried to shoot for like a dollar or a little less, but I think it's because those diapers <laughs> were so dang heavy that it kind of inflated everything else, which is fine. A dollar twenty-eight is still a great price. I'm definitely not complaining. So with that being said, that is the haul. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was. I was really happy about um, the made all jeans, the universal standard. And if those are Illestiva, I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Sunglasses were in better condition. I could get a lot of money for them, um, but I'm curious to see even in the scratch condition, if they will have um, any interest in any demand and see how they perform. But that was a good brand that I was excited to find and very, unexpected you know at the bins so yeah let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was and if you like this video be sure to give it a big old thumbs up make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already we are putting out two videos a week and at least one thrift with me every week so if you like this video you'll probably like our other videos so subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one okay love y'all bye